great evening. You do the same. Well, good afternoon. The plan today is to go out a little bit later than normal. It's about uh, 4 p.m. And, uh, no, excuse me, it's about 5 p.m. High tide, that was planned. And we're just gonna go out in the Gulf and check out some spoil islands, maybe go over the Withlacoochee mouth of the river. And uh, since we're solo, we're gonna be uh, cautious. As I start out and head down the man-made canal, uh, there's a wind blowing in from offshore. And as soon as I get out into the Gulf, uh, it gets pretty choppy. And it amazes me how on a video, two-foot seas look almost completely flat, but it's pretty, pretty rough out here and I make the left hand turn to go over to an island and I go from 18 feet deep in the channel to an immediate two feet deep and the water sort of churned up and cloudy and I can't see the bottom. As I come to a stop uh, I probably suck some grass up in that shallow water and as I start out again you'll hear it in the engine the big vibration until it clears from the impeller and I decide not to go to those islands today and I decide to head farther out into the Gulf and maybe pick up the channel on the right side to go into with Lacoochee River. This is where I make the right hand turn to intersect the channel to my right. Coming back towards the with Lacoochee River mouth was just as wild as it was when I came out uh, from the Florida barge canal. Pretty bumpy. And uh, the channel had some twists and turns in it. It was, it was a pretty fun ride in. That's the Bird Creek boat ramp on the left as you enter the mouth of the Withlacoochee River. And then once inside the river, it was much smoother sailing, and I was able to make really good time going uh, up the river towards Yankee Town. And it's a very beautiful part of the river, actually. I was quite impressed with it. Well, that was a wild ride out in the Gulf. I guess it's a combination of the tide coming in at high tide and some uh, onshore winds. <laughs> it was pretty rough. I decided to skip the islands out there. I came in the Withlacoochee River. Love-hate relationship with this river, but I've never been on this portion of it where it feeds into the Gulf. So just gonna go up in a little bit and watch the, uh, the amount of sun going down behind me. I do wanna point out that I got my personal locator beacon with me now. So if it's a life or death situation, I can at least press it. They know where to find the body or rescue me if they get there in time. So uh, I'm happy I got that finally. And uh, I'm gonna add that obviously to my uh, emergency go bag, which if you haven't seen that video, is right up here. I saw this little turn off on the way up the river, so on my way back, I wondered if it was a shortcut. And since it was at high tide, or near high tide, I thought maybe I could make it through. I later learned it was called Bennett's Creek. And I was able to head out Bennett's Creek to the southwest, and it wound its way through the marsh, and it turned into a beautiful ride there. And it was definitely a shortcut getting back to the gulf uh, towards where I had come from.
once back in the Florida Barge Canal, I headed back past the boat ramp and up to where the Withlacoochee River would head towards the Rousseau Dam, and that's a wild section of the river still. So up the river I went, and it turned out to be a beautiful ride and a part of the Withlacoochee that I had not seen before. I, I really enjoyed this section. There were lots of jumping fish and frogs in that river as I went down it. And I have no idea what this ship or boat on the left is. It looks like the PT-109, um, but it's sitting there on a dock. And if anybody knows anything about this uh, boat, I'd be interested in hearing about it in the comments. After coming back to the canal from the river, I took a quick jaunt down to the lock that's never really been used Silly before. Idea. And then I headed back towards the ramp, although I did see this little boat on the right. I'm not sure exactly what it was doing there, but it was still afloat and it was tied up to the shore. If you would hit that subscribe button, and the notification bell that's really helping out our channel we're growing every day we really appreciate the support everybody have a great evening bye bye